Manchester United are poaching talent from Formula One. Sir Jim Ratcliffe isn't playing games. Is data analytics the next frontier for Manchester United? Apparently, Michael Sinsoni from Mercedes AMG, Petronas F1, the team that Ratcliffe has a 50% stake in. He's a co-owner of this team, and he's trying to take his senior data guy from Mercedes and F1 and then bring him over to Manchester United to figure out football. How we doing, sir? Ineos. <laughs> Are they morons, or is this like a 40 chess move? Jobs for the boys. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, we were talking about uh, Jean-Claude Blanc departing, his role being terminated at Manchester United. We obviously, Dan Ashworth weighs heavy on both American Red Devils. We still can't believe that that decision was made, that mistake, I almost said, that mistake was made. And this just speaks to the nature of who the fuck's in charge and do they actually know what they're doing? Because I have no doubt that this individual is smart, very good at their job, in their in their skill set, in their domain expertise. F1 and football are two different animals. You know, they're both sports, but like one, they're just, they're totally different. And I'm sure he has a certain skill set, you know, in terms of structure and how he does process that would apply to football. But I think you want to find the best football analyst you could find in Europe and then poach it. The same way we got Dan Ashworth before you fired him. Go for that profile. Not like I want to find the best coach in, uh, you know, European handball, and I'm going to hire them as our coach because he has his, uh, you know, uh, applicable set of skills they could transfer over to football. This doesn't make sense to me, given how bad the data is and how important data now is in global football. So, what are your thoughts? I mean, this just seems like Sir Jim meddling and giving jobs to the boys. It's like Ted Lasso for uh, you know data analytics. Look, I have no doubt that uh, Michael Sinsoni is like a genius. Ratcliffe in interviews has stated that our <laughs> analytics department is in the last century. And it's very poor. So, I mean, to a certain extent, data analytics is data analytics. So it can be applied to multiple systems. So, like, the infrastructure would be similar. You'd like you'd like to think that he wouldn't want to take a guy from Mercedes and maybe he would just want to hire the talent who has experience in football. But there is overlap. I hate to say it, but from a just pure technological perspective, there is overlap. Maybe not from, like, a uh, signings perspective, but just from – you know, fitness systems. and systems. I think that that could be. I think Jim's like like looking for some dashboards. He's looking for <laughs> yeah. some, you know like, like classic board guy. Like he, he, board guy. <laughs> Sir Jim wants to be in Monaco with the iPad, yeah. and he wants everything at his fingertips. And I think this is probably that. Uh, everything just revolves around Sir Jim at the moment, and things <laughs> don't look great. What this is it's uh, like the season. Just like they like. Here's another one. The articles that come out about what he's doing, like they should have some PR around this shit. Like at the end of the day, it's like the Jean Claude Blanc story breaks. Manchester United didn't initially have a comment. Like, why aren't they spinning that? Why isn't uh, Jean Claude giving a comment about how he's gonna? You know, I just feel like they're not ahead of anything. We're always reacting. Then this article drops. Ineos really doesn't do a good job managing the press. I feel like they could do a lot better on that front because you could present this in a way and spin it in a way that it actually is a positive, and instead everyone just kind of clowning on us for saying, hey, you got bad, bad data analytics, now you're hiring a race car driver uh, technician because he worked on maximizing car performance. Like, that was using all the data that they had, but he was maximizing car performance, and is like, I get it, is Manchester United a car? We always use that analogy, but is he the right guy for the job? I mean, there's something to be said about systems and analytics, um, and there's something to be said about, I think you fucking nailed it, which is like, he's a fucking bored guy. He wants to be on his boat and be like, hey, you got to bring in like this new BI software so I can get exactly the KPI dashboard I'm looking for. And I think that's basically it, is like, yeah, systems crossover, no doubt. But I think at the end of the day, like you want to find fit for purpose type roles that don't kind of call into question the decisions you're making. I do agree with like the, like even Ed Woodward in the last few years of his tenure, he was playing a couple of his press outlets really well to give him cover time and time again, make a mistake, mistake. They have no air cover. They're not playing this well, but they've shown that. They've shown that they're not self-aware around certain decisions, like cutting four grand, and then like it blows up and it looks fucking terrible. By the way, and like, like why idiots. haven't we already made this hire? Like he's been interviewing that the analytics are bad, and then like he's been here this for over a year. I, I don't understand it. Uh, this strikes Red me as like they maybe. can't figure it out, and they're like, "All right, get this guy over here." Exactly. Another desperate mess. move from Ineos. What do you think? Can a Formula One data guy help turn Manchester United around, or is this another Ineos distraction? Drop your thoughts 
In the comments below, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next Manchester United video.